Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is D, and today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is Queen of Bows. And that gives us uh, the Knight and the Queen of Bows sitting in your little party here, uh, looking at the abundance. Uh, the Page of Vessels just dropped off, and you still have the Page of Stones sitting here. So, uh, you know, let's say that, that Page of Vessels, you know, that Otter decided, you know what, I'm going to go back to the river and swim upstream a little bit and see if I can gather somebody else around, you know, just to help them out. So, um, you know, the, the hair is symbolic of spring and fertility. And, uh, you know, this queen, the way I like to, to talk about them is, you know, they rule the castle. All right, so this is somebody that you can go to, um, you know, with your concerns, your supplications, and, uh, you know, talk to her. And, you know, if she warrants them to be big enough, she will give them to the king. Right, she'll you know she'll put them put that uh, worry, that concern, that supplication in his ear, and you know he'll think about it. Uh, again, bows is, is fire energy, so you know this queen is gonna is gonna take action. All right, and um, she's also a reminder of abundance, and we've seen that six of bows. You know the abundance came up before. You, you do have um, you know three of the bows down here. Uh, the king or the queen knight and the six so now this this hair this queen of bows is very sympathetic and understanding all right uh, you know they listen to what you have to say and you know they understand where you're coming from all right as as much as it uh you know when it you know pertaining to you know matters of action or matters of creativity right now she's going to provide you um guidance on your success of your journey and uh, sometimes it might not be the advice that you're looking for, but it's going to make you think, okay? She may, you know, have you, you know, think about maybe going down a different path for that creativity or for that action, all right? But nonetheless, she's going to be very supportive. Uh, she's going to have a witty sense of humor, all right, to try to get her point across. Um, you know, but when she does, it's going to be very wise. And she's going to be gentle and kind with you as well, Okay. Now, if this is a person that's in your life, all right, this is somebody who's going to be very popular, you know. Um, you know, think about your high school days or if you're in high school, you know, this, you know, the popular person that's in there that's going to have that, you know, that supports you, that's witty, that's wise, right? Uh, somebody that you look up to. You know, this is, uh, you know, this person is going to be dedicated, all right, and uh, they're going to be committed to defend or take, take your side, you know, how many friends out there actually do that for you? You know, that's pro you know, those that do, it's probably the queen of bows aspect, right? Um, you know, like I said before, they're going to be, you know, very, they're going to have sympathy and empathy. You know, they're going to understand all your concerns, all right? Now, they can also be jealous. They can also point, you know, see a jealous streak within them. And, you know, um, you know, this could be somebody that has that aspect of jealousy, right? Or rivalry, all right? And what that does is that creates an unpredictableness, all right? Um, you know, this could be a person in your life. It could be a significant other, cousin, you know, in a family situation. However you want to look at it. A colleague at work, right? You know, a friend from a distance. And if this is a, an event, it's going to be an event where there's, you know, a courteous understanding. You know, it could be a birthday party or something like that where, you know, people are courteous and, you know, they understand why you're there. They help with creative ambition. All right. Um, you know, an event like this could be, you know, let's say that birthday party. Maybe you got there early to, you know, to, you know, decorate the place. All right. Because somebody knows that you're of your creative style. All right. And, and it's definitely parties. You know, anytime that they can get to a party and help set up and make things right, you know, that's the Queen of Bows energy, right? And, uh, you know, they also provide uh, business opportunities. So don't be surprised when you're talking to this Queen of Bows about what, whatever's going on, you know, maybe your next adventure, your latest adventure, that there could be a business opportunity to come coming along. You know, because, again, that's, that's part of that fire energy, that creative energy, all right, that action energy. So, you know, the queen, the court cards ask a couple questions, and this one says, you know, to you, how do you influence those around you? How do you influence those around you when you're mourning? All right? 
think about that. You know, when, when your cups are empty, how do you influence those around you to, to refill your cups? You know, do you, you know, give out hugs? You know, do you say, hey, you know, let's go out for dinner? You know, let's have a, you know, conversation, right? You know, when you're mourning, you, you want to tend to withdraw. And this queen's asking you, you know what? I understand you're mourning, but you don't have to withdraw. You don't have to, um, you know, take your way out of that social aspect. You know, if it's, you know, with this ace of arrows, this breath of life, you, you brought that new breath in, you, that new concept, that new thought pattern, you know, and you, maybe you had to let something go. That's why you're mourning, right? Okay. How do you influence those around you to get that um, thought pattern to move forward, right? to, you know, fill those cups up in that seven of vessels, all right? What's the idea to refill those up, okay? How do you influence those around you when it comes to, you know, the knight of bows and a fox, okay? And he asks, you know, which, which opportunity are you seizing in a situation? You know, the opportunity I see with you right now with the queen of bows is to take that opportunity of influencing those around you for your thoughts, you know, making that project come forward, all right, to refill those cups up with that seven of vessels, right? How do you influence those around you, okay, with the, um, with the links? And he asks, you know, what can you learn from this situation? Well, this is what, I, this is what you can learn from this, right? is that by looking at who's around you to help you seize the opportunity, to help you put that thought process in action, all right, is gonna, is gonna fill those cups up, right? And you can learn from that by, you know, looking at your resources. You know, what, what, it is, what is it that you have that can, you know, help you out, to help you benefit, right? You've got the six of bows abundance. You've got everything there sitting at your at your fingertips. You know, use some of that bounty that's there. You know, just not only for nourishment. Don't steal, okay, from this from this abundance, but you know, use it for your nourishment to help you learn for, in a situation, to help you seize the opportunity to at hand, right? To take that thought to another level and fill those cups up. And then how do you influence those around you with a struggle? Do you, do you help, do you have them help you in that struggle? You know, do, are they supportive of what's going on? All right, you know it's gonna be a struggle, all right? You can be supportive of others when you see them going through that, you know, that struggle. That's how you can influence them, all right? You can give them that pat on the back, you know, hey, you can do it. That's how you influence them moving, moving, uh, moving forward. And where do you need to be more understanding? You know, maybe you're this person that, you know, was holding that light up six days ago. All right. And somebody comes up and says, you know what? Hey, I get it. I understand exactly where you're going through. You know, I've been there. I've done that. I understand what, what, you're, what you're going through. You know, I understand that the struggle you're on has lead has led to more abundance. You know, use that use that abundance wisely. I understand that you still need to collect more data to make a good decision as you're moving forward. Okay, maybe that's data is listening to spirit, letting that guide you a little bit. Need to be more understanding, like that fox. All right. And even though you're, you're picking up data here with the page of stones, the links, you're also asking yourself, what details are you ignoring? What details are you ignoring as you're moving forward, you know, knowing that you struggled and, and you had the abundance? What details are you ignoring, you know, as you, you know, go on with that thought process with that ace of arrows, you know, the breath of life? Where do you need more, be more understanding? You know, maybe that thought process has something to do with somebody else and they're not ready for it. And maybe that's where you need to be understanding with it. And just say, you know what? 
they're not ready. All right, maybe, you know, you talk to that person, you say, you know what, I'm ready to move forward on this project. I'm ready to move forward on this thought. You know, are you with me or are you not with me? If not, don't worry about it, right? I understand where you're coming from, you know, but I'm going to find somebody who is ready. And where do you need to be understanding, you know, in filling those cups up? Yeah, you want them filled up now, you know, but you're still going through that grieving process. And eventually they will be filled up. Just be patient, okay? Because, you know, the queen of bows is represented by that spring and fertility, right? Spring, to me, you know, has water coming through. And when you can fill up those vessels, you know, with water and with energy, that's when, you know, things become, you know, start taking, taking, you know, um, taking root, right? Because you fed them with the water. Right, and that's that fertility that that Queen of Bows, that hair stands for. You know, you sprinkled a little bit of water on that project, right? A little thought process, a little, you know, intuitiveness, right? A little elbow grease, and pow, the next thing you know, you know, that, that thought process is now, that idea is taking itself into a project. All right, that's what that Queen of Bows, that hair, st you know, stands for. So there you have it. That's today's card of the day, the Queen of Bows and the Hair. Hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, and share it with others. And this is D for the Spirit's Path, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. God bless. Stay safe, everybody.